What's up everybody? So we're kind of covering a little program here if you haven't noticed with winter time. It's here and so we figured we may as well keep the party rocking with air tanks and airlines. Now these don't need to freeze up if you'll just remember to drain the main vein. No, not that one, the one on your truck. I'm going to show you how to do that and what to do in the event that you do get frozen airlines. Not a problem, stick with me. I'm John with Translines Inc. and this is OTR Survival. Oh yeah, it's on, let's go! If you are watching this show, that means you wanna know how to become a professional, oh shit, like me. So we know the water freezes, but where's the water coming from? Well, it's coming from the tanks underneath the truck. Now, if you'll drain these, you won't have to worry about them ever freezing up. So let's go underneath here and see what that looks like. Okay, so. Unfortunately, if you're in a Volvo, this is going to suck for you because you've got to get way underneath the truck in order to access this little line right here. Now, these three tanks are all interconnected, so there's only a single bleeder valve at the end. But if you'll simply locate this particular trigger and pull... Now, I'll bet that was louder than hell on the video, but <laughs> you get the idea. Now, when you do this, if you'll look at the ground it'll let you know just how much water was in your tanks. If there was a lot, you're going to see a hell of a puddle. But usually, in this type of, of, of time where it's you know, fall going into winter, there's probably not going to be a whole lot. But as, uh, as winter time starts coming, it will build up. And you want to make sure you drain these because if it goes through your, your airlines, that's when you have the problem and that's where you get the freezing from as the water transfers from here through to your airlines okay so you forgot to drain the main vein you got a lot of water in the tanks you've hit the brakes at sub-zero and these are now problematic in ice so we want to check this step by step first step go ahead hop in the truck and push your trailer valve in if this thing is screaming air you know that the air is coming from the tanks to these lines good enough so the problem is more than likely going to be in the lines that run through the trailer to the brake drums back there. If that's the case, what you're going to want to do is get a bottle of airline deicer. It comes in a little bottle, of, a lot like what you get motor oil in. You'll get one of those and you're going to want to hold the airline in order to get as much fluid within these lines as you possibly can. So simply pour it in through the top nozzle and allow as much as you can get in here to get in here. You'll know you're full because it'll start to spew out of the top. Reconnect this to the trailer. Go back to the truck and push your airline in. That will force all that fluid to go through the airlines in the trailer and knock all that ice out. You may have to do it one, two, three times depending on how much ice you've got built up through there. But again, if you'll maintain that uh, draining of the tanks you won't have this problem but again it happens you, you get busy and you forget just go ahead and pour that through there force that through your lines and it will pop right out of there and, and thaw out and you're good to roll it'll be cold but it'll be done i hope this will help you out in case it ever does happen it's never fun to get stuck in the winter time especially when it's sub-zero weather but if it does if you just take your time get prepared have what you're gonna need you should be able to get yourself out of most situations now once you hit a ditch now that's a whole different ball game you're gonna need a regger but if it's just simple stuff not a big deal at any rate i hope you have a great day thanks for watching take some time to have fun and we'll catch you on the next one Bye bye